Do you right. work in? We just got the washing machine going. Yeah. It's gonna explode. As we were had the washing I machine on, it entered into the wrong bilge, and then we got all the floors up, and we realised that there's a leak somewhere down there. So um, now we've got to do all this hand washing. So I'm gonna take it into the um the aft heads and then finish it off by hand. So ever since we've uh, had the boat, we've had a, um, the washing machine. I think the washing machine was installed um, when the boat was commissioned, um, and so it's been on the boat ever since. We always had a few issues with the washing machine, um, but we persevered with it. So we're just washing it in here by hand now. Oh, it's not so easy. Um, it was always a nerve-wracking experience switching the washing machine on, um, wondering whether we were actually going to get through the wash. Here we go. Sounds like the bearing it's leaking as well. has gone, and um, well, it was leaking anyway. Um, but um, that does not sound right. That sounds like metal pieces just moving around. It's probably this is I reckon this is the original washing machine that came with the boat, so it's over twenty years old. Um, I expect we probably use it maybe more than the other people with three kids. But you know, you never know. We might be able to fix it. But if not, I think we need a new one. Anyone got a new washing machine? <laughs> Just undoing it then. Getting a washing machine off a boat isn't the easiest thing. Obviously you've got to uh, unplug it and unwire it and everything. Um, but then you've got to get it out the companion way, across the passerelle and onto the dock. Right, let's get it out now. Yeah, that's quite good. It's got handy holes here. Get it out. Oh yeah, we like the handy holes. Good morning, good morning, Venus And uh, welcome to the old Merrimar VHF radio net. Another day in paradise. I suspect it's a bearing, probably somewhere here, well, I don't know, let's take it apart and have a look. So, it's belt driven from an uh, electric motor down here, a bit rusty at the bottom there. Typical. When you get it all out and you have a look at it and you run it and it seems fine. <sighs> when we take these things apart, there's always sharp metal bits that you never see. So I remember when we were back in uh, England, uh, the kids were always a bit squeamish with the sight of blood, but I've cut myself so many times fixing engines and washing machines and everything. So whenever um, they see blood now, it's kind of, it's an opportunity to practice their first aid skills rather than uh, go all squeamish. You've got to make sure he's all right, make sure the patient's okay. Daddy, this is my... So reassure the patient. a strange noise. So this is the heating element and uh, there was a bit of rust down the bottom there. Uh, pull this off and then the seal is corroded. So that would explain the leak that we've been having. So just to repair that bit you've got to replace the whole drum and the whole drum is about 108 euros which isn't 
really cost effective. Shame really because the electric motor was working fine, the pump seems to be working fine, everything else, but it just comes down to cost. We had a leak here as well and these seals are all gone, so they need replacing. A little bit of corrosion there, even though they're just lots of minor things, they all add up. So we didn't even get as far as the bearing really, we got to the, the, the bearing housing um, and, we, and I noticed a few other things that were that had been leaking. And when I took the element out, the rim of the element is all corroded away so it's not forming a seal. There's another couple of seals that are not sealing correctly. So all in all, even though each thing is probably repairable with epoxy and replacements, it's a very old machine and there's no telling how long things are going to last. So. I think on balance it's probably best to get a replacement for it. It comes a bit of a teaching aid. <laughs> Dad, how do I take it apart then? I can't use hat. It's a washing machine what broke down, but the wheels haven't fell off yet. Mm. You and get on. Woohoo! Are you going to do the washing? Uh, no, first we're going to throw it. No, we're going to put this in the bin. So we've been managing. There's a laundrette here, so it's not so bad really in the marina. But that's two hours less in the day that I have to do other things. Mama, Mama, stop. So we have to bring a massive bag and I put 15 kilos in there, which is all linen and washing, and it gets done. It's not too bad really. Okay, one week's washing done. That's why Woody married me. I'm strong. <laughs> so Arenka spent uh, a few days online trying to source a decent washing machine that would kind of fit the space that we needed um, and the right wattage and everything else. Um, so we went through a lot of criteria and eventually I was dispatched with the uh, porter's trolley to pick up one from a local electric shop. So if um, getting the washing machine off the boat was tricky, getting it back on again was uh, even more of a challenge. This is the smallest one we found for a fairly decent price. I managed to get it for um, just around 430 euros. It's a candy aquamatic. It's 3.5 to 4 kilograms it uses it's either 42 or 48 litres of water that's quite an important thing um, because obviously water we don't have an unlimited supply but now I'm going to open it up and see what it looks like spare pipes spare pipes are always handy and a manual yeah the 14 minute or 30 minute is good otherwise it's going to go on for a couple of hours we don't want that and uses less water as well. Right, now we'll see if we can fit it in. So we're gonna have to take about a centimetre off both sides so it'll slide in. Okay, so I haven't got a router, which would be the correct tool to use, so all I've got is a jigsaw and a multi-tool. So I'm gonna use those to take about a two centimetre sliver off either side of the door. So that's what fiberglass does to a new blade, absolutely ruined. So for a bit of insulation I'm just going to cut up Rinks's old uh, yoga mat, I don't think she needs it anymore. <laughs> Thank you. 
Why are you doing this, Mum's yoga so kids being kids, they decided the best time to start arguing and fighting was just as mum and dad were trying to get a huge washing machine down some very narrow companionway steps. That Rowan hit me and it made me step back. Can you hold it? Can you just hold it there? Just hold it. No, no, just hold it. It's on my knee. So at the moment we've got a T-joint here with two valves. One goes off to the washing machine, the other goes off to the dishwasher which we took out a while ago so we don't actually need that one. Um, and this one's a bit leaky anyway so I'm going to replace it with a new one and probably take out that T-joint altogether. Ugh. Okay, that needs sorting out. Okay, I think the reason that was leaking is because that was actually in the wrong way around. It should be that way. And so that tightens the grip on the pipe instead of that way, which doesn't do anything. Okay, so stupidly, I thought this was a redundant pipe, uh, which goes to show you should never assume because that actually goes to the galley sink. Um, and now taking it off, the galley sink taps don't actually produce any water. So what I actually need is a three-way valve. I've got a hose pipe um, splitter here. So inlet will come in here. That will then go off to the galley taps, and then this one can go to the washing machine. I've had to be a bit inventive because they haven't got the right fittings, but this hose pipe T should direct the water to the washing machine and to the galley taps. Okay, take three. Let's test the galley sink. Oop. Back in action on the galley. It's all plugged in. The waste pipe is attached and the water pipe is attached. Okay, this is my running gear and it hasn't been washed in nearly three weeks and it stinks. The first wash. But how do you choose the temperature? That's cold wash. Spin. But I've never been so nervous putting a washing machine on. So now we don't have a washing machine, we've got a spare cupboard. We've got an empty cupboard. Let's have a look. There's no washing machine. Oh, hang on a minute. Who's that? Oh, well, we thought we had an empty cupboard. 
It seems that every video I, I keep having to apologise about the, the comments section. It's not us that are blocking the comments, it's YouTube. They're blocking family channels and kids' channels uh, because of their ongoing issues. There's nothing we can do about it. We've tried being in touch with them. So please give us a thumbs up anyway. Give us a like, watch the adverts, make YouTube realise that people are still interested in us. Um, and if you do want to make comments, please go to the Facebook page. Um, luckily, uh, Facebook are still keeping comments going. And if you want to do it, do it.